be arriving on scene to a neighbor problem. Uh, the reporting party advised at some point in time they could hear a, possibly a gun being cocked. How's it going? Good. Did you call us? Yes, sir. What's going on? Well, a couple minutes ago, I came downstairs. My wife and I are throwing out all the trash. Tomorrow's trash day, so we mm -hmm. rolled our trash cans out and put them out in the street. And he started yelling obscenities at me. He's like, keep your trash out of my side. This is my... I said, look, sir, the, the trash cans were in the street. They weren't on your property. I don't give a blah, blah, blah. And the neighbor just next to you? Yeah, just next door. So then he's like, you want to die tonight? And then I hear a shh, shh, a gun. I'm gonna kill you. Come over here. He's like, I'm a veteran. He's like, come over here and you die. He's like, you're not ready to die. You have small children. I don't give a I'll go to jail tonight if I have to. He's like, I'll kill you. All right. Uh, seems like there's this gentleman here has become a, a little bit of a nuisance here. How you doing, sir? What's going on? This guy keeps putting his trash cans in front of my house. Did Don't you threaten his life? No. Okay. Did you have a gun in your possession at that time? Uh, yes, I did. Did you rack the slide on that firearm? No. You didn't? No. How would they know you had a firearm? Well, I was, I was clicking it, but I wasn't aiming at anybody. I was like, what, how many feet is that away from a person? But how would I potentially... I right up in his face. It doesn't matter. I think you cocked the hammer on your revolver in an effort to intimidate them. I do believe that. Well, because there had been no other reason to do it. That's a possibility. I'll, I'll pay for the polygraph test. Well, we don't get I'll polygraph pay, tests. Polygraph. Give me a second, all right? Sure. All right. There's a couple ways you can go about this. First simplest way is when we chuck this up as you guys need to leave each other alone. Now, I think I have enough to arrest him today. If you want me to, I'm not going to discourage you from doing that. And I don't want to cause anybody any grief. And again, I worry about the kids and my wife, and I just don't want to have any issues. It's fine. I'll trespass him from your property. Um, so that's going to give you another element, and I'll make it firm to him that he needs to leave you guys alone. All right, sir. So this is the deal, OK? One, you're trespassed from their property, OK? Um, you can't go anywhere on their property. So they don't want to press charges. They just want you to say, hey, just leave them alone. That's all they want. Well, that's, that's nice of them, but they don't want to press charges. Well, God bless you, sir. Take care of yourself, and thank you for your service. Well, thank you. Sitting there in his chonies, watering down his garage. <laughs> but they don't want to press charges today. They just want everyone to be peachy king from here and just be civil neighbors.